Pro-2A! 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 You guys got a problem to take it! A problem to take it! Let's go, guys! A problem to take it! A problem to take it! One more, but this one's kind of funny. You guys remember Jurassic Park? And he's like, ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. Guys, go ahead, ready? Ah, ah, ah. No, you don't. I'm out here because I'm a Massachusetts resident. I've seen what suffocating gun control has done to my state. I've seen, the, you know, I, as someone who knows firearms and understands them very well and trains with them, I know that the laws that are being proposed are being proposed by people who have no understanding of firearms. And the criminals aren't the ones who are being uh, All right, stopped. Maddie, we're ready to go. The only people these guys laws affect are continue. people like myself, and the majority of people right. who keep and bear arms here legally, lawfully, and safely. You're here to defend your Second Amendment rights. Get involved. Find somebody. Help somebody. Get somebody elected that believes like you do. Don't just say it. Don't just text it. Do it. Or you're not going to enjoy these rights. Fight now so you don't have to fight later. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go. So the Boogaloo and you. Pretty much uh, MSNBC <laughs> had put out an article about the Boogaloo that came up during the Virginia rallies. Yeah. We wanted to counter out their narrative that they're calling us white supremacists, racists, everything like that. We're not. We're wanting liberty. We're wanting liberty for every single individual, which is everybody. <laughs> it's it's not that hard of a concept. And so uh, you have on, on here the question, what is a Boogaloo? In your, in your yeah. words, what, what is the Boogaloo? The Boogaloo is... <laughs> Freedom Screech Fest. Yeah. We're, we're wanting to bring the government back to respecting the individual's rights. The rights to free speech, the rights to uh, the, uh, owning firearms, the rights to privacy. We're wanting all of that returned back to us and not being taken, and we're not willing to compromise about that. So this carries a 30, round, 30 rounds. This also 30 rounds. 30, 30 round armor piercing, 30 round armor piercing. That's all I carry. Boy, set. <laughs> oh, this man. And then 21 round. Block magazine, <laughs> medical kit, radio set up on the back. Jeez, also, I didn't even look at like, <laughs> So you're really ready. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yo, look the boog at you. Fair enough. Because we, we are the balance against government. So when we're talking about women empowerment and women's rights, I am a Republican woman. And my party is often assaulted by the other side saying that we do not believe in women's rights. This is the number one right for women right here, the right to defend their own self, protect their person, protect their family, and to protect their home. And we don't deserve that any less than the men on the other side do. We're here to show support and opposition of the newly proposed bills that target our Second Amendment rights. There are, is one in the works that will restrict long gun magazines to 10 rounds and another that will restrict handgun capacity to 15 rounds. As you can see, that's not a whole lot. This is a 30 round magazine, uh, standard capacity for most modern rifles. And on my hip, I have a pistol with 15 rounds in it. Again, for most pistols, that's standard capacity now. And if I got a larger one for open carry, I'd get up to 17 or even higher. If you were to get, if these laws were to pass, that would functionally ban most of these weapons. So that's concerned about just kind of a wave of new Yes, very yeah, much that's, so. Tell me about that. Honestly, I think it's more of a wave of cognitive dissonance. People are afraid of things that they don't know about. And if people were educated and understood how firearms work, and understood that this is a tool driven by the user, 
then I think people would be a lot less afraid and they'd be able to formulate more accurate opinions based on what they think people should and shouldn't have. My personal opinion is that I think as long as you're not hurting anybody, as long as you're not infringing on anybody's rights, you're a well-to-do person, you should be able to own a firearm. That's just my spiel on that. Yeah. If you have served our nation, could you please raise your hand for me? Thank you. Thank you for preserving our freedoms. It doesn't stop there. We each here have a duty to preserve the rights that they fought so hard to make sure that we could, we could maintain. The assault on the Second Amendment that has been happening inside these walls is nothing short of unconstitutional and un-American and unpatriotic. I bring my children to this rally every year so that they can see the support that we have in fighting for our Second Amendment rights. What is this? It's just a sound grenade. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Are, do you need a permit to, to buy a sound grenade like that? These are $25 at your local military surplus store. Wow. Very interesting. <laughs> I've seen them fired at riots and stuff. I've never seen a civilian carry that. You can own them. Um, you can own tear gas too, OCCS. It's just very hard to get. Good to know. <laughs> Thank you. Do you have anything to add? To what? Uh, if you want to just talk about why you're, why you're out here today. Well, you know, I'm out here for guys like Duncan, for guys that are going down on red flag raids for no reason whatsoever. I'm out here for the lines that we keep drawing in the sand that keep getting crossed, for the rights that keep getting infringed. And it's, it's, it's just gotten to the point where we need to do something about it because there is no more room for error. It's, it's getting to the point where there will be all gun laws and no guns. So now is the time to be getting on the, the, the courthouse steps, the state house steps, strapping up, being a body in the crowd, and letting your voice be heard. Because we're not, we're not keyboard warriors. We're not guys, oh, my First Amendment, my second. We're here now, live in the flesh. I was gonna ask, why are you uh, concerned about uh, gun rights, Mr. Dinosaur? I find the, the idea very primitive <laughs> for, for anti-gun rights. It's been inalienable since prehistoric times. Beto O'Rourke said he's gonna take your guns. <laughs> Joe Biden said he's gonna come and take your guns. <laughs> Are you ready to fight? Yeah! Are you ready to vote? Yeah! Are you ready to support the Second Amendment with yeah! everything you have within you? Yeah! Bloomberg Democrats have already showed their hand. We know exactly how they would rule if they had control of all branches of New Hampshire's govern government. That sh thought should scare the living daylights out of anyone who values their rights, especially their right to bear arms. And that's why we're here today. And that's why we have to continue emailing and calling them. And that's why we have to continue showing up at hearings and let, letting them know we will not stand down. We will continue to fight for our rights. For to, to carry guns. And if, if they do end up taking, taking guns away, they're only taking guns from honest people because <laughs> criminals are still going to find a way to get guns. Yeah. Live free or die. <laughs> That, ladies and gentlemen, is why we're here today and why we do this. It's an old 38, mo uh, year 38. Uh, it was made, hold on, let's get the barrel markings there for you. 1938 uh, Mosin. Uh, nothing special, it wasn't a tool of factory Mosin or anything like that, but uh, it's definitely seen its, uh, seen its fair share of action. Um, but yeah, good, good little capture gun. It's a nice, very active. Today was a success? Yeah, I think it was. I think it. Uh, I think it showed people that you know there's plenty of just regular people out there who uh, own guns and you know want to keep owning them. And you know, I mean, certainly all, uh, for all of the legislation, this firearm wouldn't be banned by anything that, that's passed in there. But still, it's a weapon of war. I, I hear all these politicians talking about we want to ban weapons of war. We want to ban all these other things. Well, here's one. 
you know, I mean, you know, I, I don't think you're going to be taking this away from me anytime soon. Um, so, you know. Why are we all out here? We're here to defend our rights. We're here to remain free men. That's why we're here. Yep. Yeah, what's up? Thumbs up. Yeah. 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 You heard the man loves to play my dead fucking body. Don't be afraid to stand up for yourself. Get out here and communicate with people.